Um, today I will be presenting to you guys my senior project, and I would just like y'all to know a little insight on it. Um, my senior project is quite different. I actually experienced my senior project, and I hope you guys take some information from it and use it. It will be um, inf very informational to you guys on something new, and um, this it truly means something to me. It's actually my major, what I like to go to school for. So starting off, my second question is, how can a summer internship possibly affect the students? Um, I know each of you hopefully probably had an internship throughout your guys' career, either in the summer when you come home from college. And luckily, I got to do it before I was come home from college. I got to do it actually in high school of my junior year going to my senior year. So my answer to this question is, a summer internship provides important skills and techniques for inexperienced students. Um, the internship teaches work readiness and people skills and also touches on relationship building. What I mean by relationship building is like knowing someone like I play basketball, so now all the CEOs and the managers I work with now come to my game. They came, the CEO of Chatham came to my basketball game yesterday. He had his son go to Baylor. And um, the manager I work with in product development, he's going, he's coming to my game tomorrow at Hicks. I mean here at against Hicks. So here's a quick video of the program I was in to give you guys more insight on it. I'm not sure how to turn it up from here. In my experience, it's been weird this summer. Was very, it's, it was something new because I've never had a job before, so this is my first. Tech building really interesting, so that's why I think I would like, I might want to get a job in The video shows you guys how um, we, each student work interns got placed in different jobs that the career they're pursuing. So at the end of the internships, um, around 75 students we had a huge banquet. We got to share our different experiences. So this was my experience I was sharing. I was a chemical engineer. I did a lot of different things um, throughout the eight-week process. So right before we went back to school, we had a big banquet. And we just shared our things. So this is my presentation I want to present at the end of each week just combined all together. And this, it affected me. I got to pinpoint exactly which major I would like to pursue after um, high school. So here's what I did. So the first week I was there, I got to meet the digestive care group in week one. And during this week, I learned first off what GI products were. GI products are OTC medications, which is over the counter medications that treat many different stomach conditions. And this is the time of year where they excel because the winter time is busy. And there are some common how many goods we have? I'm really struggling with this computer screen because it's not found. So I was interested in acid reducers because I didn't know a lot about acid reducers and acid reducers. They treat many different stomach conditions and they also have a bad cough that doesn't go away. And I wish you guys could see it. Policy is the number one OTC um, selling brand for acid reducers. And I learned, they, the group taught me about active ingredients. 
So it was just an eye-opening experience for week one. Just here's a picture of me, just learning different with this is a raw material power, which is weighing them out. And I just basically got to learn my first week there. Just getting a grasp of things, you know, getting a feel. They didn't know exactly what I knew, so they were teaching me things. So this is just my week, first week there. So week two, I was kind of learning how to balance things out. I worked with the oil care group, and I was an ag mouthwash. So I made my own ag mouthwash, and I did an ag flavor panel. So I was an intern there, and that UTK student that was there, he was an intern his sophomore year in college. So the question I presented to the group was, so say I have a green, a blue, and a red mouthwash. Which one would you guys pick? Green. Green. So the objective of the flavor panel was to see what the, um, the product color has an um, effect on flavor perception. So do, do the color of a mouthwash change somebody's opinion of getting it or not? And it came out to be true because I just had the same flavors of mouthwash, but everybody chose light blue. And so here was a bar graph of the results I had assumed. So that was the, my um, assignment for week two. Week three, I worked with the topical skincare group. This was a kind of fun week because I learned many new things. I worked with gold bonds, the lady who created gold bonds. And I stayed with my grandma and my great grandma. And sometimes I just look at my great grandma hands and I just play with them. So I just want to learn about anti-aging ingredients. I see that. I'm like, I definitely want to know about this. So I looked into it. She told me to do some research on my own. So I sat down on the computer. And every one of these things was there as raw materials, as waxes. And there are different vitamins, vitamin B3 and vitamin B5. So just a quick, Jehovah Essence was my favorite. I used to play with it day in, day out. It brings smoothness to the skin. And niacinamide is a vitamin B3 and it improves skin barrier function and it reduces wrinkling. So these, this week, I just learned about different ingredients to help your skin and how, how do ingredients penetrate your skin and keep it moist. So also then we got split up time to go to um, topical pain, pain relievers and the uh, products and their ingredients. So Ice Hot was the number one brand there at Chatham. So I got to spend time with him. And the three main pain, topical pain relievers was menthol, lidocaine, and capsaicin. Menthol is used in Ice Hot. Um, lidocaine, is a, it causes numbness, temporary numbness. And capsaicin is used to treat minor, very minor aches. That's the most common one. My grandma and my great grandma, they know about that one a lot. <laughs> so week four was probably my favorite week. It definitely pinpointed what I wanted to do because it didn't feel like work that week. It was chemical engineering working with that group. And I was so busy with it, we didn't do much um, on presentation. But my, I had a mixing study week, so my my main thing was the purpose of the mixing study was to test different mixing blades um, on how it um, dispersed dye into a um, small beaker. It was on a small scale, we moved it up to a large scale. So they gave me a view of both sides, how it worked from PD until a bigger point. So here's a picture to give you guys an example. Here's a boat propeller, and I injected the dye in the bottom. And I was working on my own with this, so it was very fun. And then this was a high viscosity type um, liquid, so it was like a little, 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 a little less thick than Vaseline. So I just dropped the dye into it and dispersed it. So I just want to give you guys an image of that. And this week it showed me how actually when you're making something in science, you're working on your own, you're stopping the time and dropping it. It's really challenging, but it's really fun. It gives you something to do. You just want to sit down. It's really hands on. So week five, I was in microbiology. This week turned me into a germaphobe. I was in a whole other department. I was moving around a lot. Um, I met a really nice lady. She's been working there for 35 years, so she gave me a lot of insight on it. Um, so first and foremost, she taught me about there's two different types of bacteria. You got gram negative and gram positive, but most of our bacteria is gram negative. So gram, this one gram negative is an antibiobacter. It lives in water and soil, and it, it causes by it can um, it can be used as a bioterrorism weapon. It's very dangerous. It's, it was cool to me because I just read up on it. She was reading up on it, and it can be spread from person to person easily, and it's resistant to many antibiotics. Here's a picture of it. So if you ever see it in your bathroom, run. Um, and I also gram stain my own throat. There's a picture of me going to gram stain, just learning how to do it and pour it. And here's me. I swallowed my throat. It, it's a little nasty. I did my own streak to it. You got to isolate it. She taught me about um, those things. So this probably was one of the areas where I was like, yeah, I'm glad I went through this to see that 
I wouldn't be interested in this field. The internship provided me that, that knowing that I, would, that I wouldn't be interested in it. So week six, it was winding down. I was in quality control. And every company that produces food, um, beverages, things of that nature, they all have to have a quality control to make sure the ingredients listed on the thing is in there, that they're not over, so they have to go through very many test methods in this area and then things like that. And they also have to make sure the water that's produced through it is not contaminated. So, but when I was working here, the UV spectrometer was very interesting to me. I was like, okay, I want to know what this is. And what it is, is used to quantify results based on color, concentration, or light effect. So this is how it happened. Um, it's very hard. It's a 2D, uh, a 3D image, but I'll show y'all the that picture. So basically, you have the light source, and you put your sample there, and it's diffracting gradient, shoots a shot through it, and it detects every uh, element that's in it. So here's me working on it at the computer. Here's my, here's my uh, stuff right here. And you put it, so you sit it here, and it gives you your, your results right there on the computer. So it was very interesting this week. We learned about the small stuff. It's a lot about the small stuff. Week seven, I was in ARD, and ARD is Analytical Research and Development Group. They make the test methods for, for QC to go through. Um, they also test water samples. They do air samples and things of that nature also, just to make sure everything is going correctly so they can do the right test method. Here's a picture of your water sampling with a biologist. He was really nice, he talked about a lot of stuff. I was just making sure, I went to four different plants to make sure that water was purified and things of that nature so they tested it yesterday. And the reason we do water samples to meet USP requirements, to test water quality, and also make sure our, that's where our, most of our raw materials come from, so we got to issue. My last week I was in metrology, and metrology is basically just the group that makes sure everything is flowing perfectly, um, that, val um, that um, repair instruments and make sure they validate it correctly. And also just do constant checkups to make sure everything is flowing perfectly. Right. So that's the end of my internship. The internship provided me a lot of opportunities, provided me a lot of connections, and um, hopefully this summer I'm supposed to go back there and just I get paid more and I meet with people and learn a lot of new stuff. So thank y'all for listening. I hope y'all learned something. Thank you guys.
and you were able to expose us to some of the things that, you know, we take for, like, I love gold bond. I think it's one of the best <laughs> lotion period. So now that I know what goes into it, thank you for that. Mm -hmm. So I just want to commend you. This is excellent work. Yeah. And this is what you're going to need as you go up next, um, next, go up next year. Yeah. Keep on the good job. Thank you. 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 Thank you.